Hello, I'm Marika Franceschi. I'm one of the partners in the family law team at McRoberts. The reason I'm making this podcast tonight is because I've been thinking about an article I read in the hairdressers over the weekend, funnily enough. It was an article about Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie and how they are keen to end the divorce from hell, as it was described. It went on to say that they are concerned about the impact all the acrimony is having on their children. Imagine. But it also, I felt, I really felt quite sorry for them. Just because they're celebrities doesn't mean that it doesn't hurt them to have the intimacies of their relationship um, and their their perceived character flaws scrutinised by the world media and by magazine readers like myself and hair salons across the globe. No divorce is easy. No divorce process is easy. But it did get me thinking, you know, if they had their time again, would they have done it this way? Or might they have chosen a different, a different way to divorce, such as the collaborative process, which in fact originated in the States and it, um, gradually made its way across the globe um, to Europe and to us in Scotland. I, I often wonder whether anger helps people deal with the raw emotion that comes out of a separation, worries about the future, the ending of hopes and dreams, the hurt, the disappointment, all of that is a, is a heavy burden to carry for anyone, whether they are the one instigating the separation or not, it's, it's never easy for anyone. And I sometimes get the impression that anger is perhaps, it, it makes it easier to carry that burden rather than confronting it as the grief and sadness that it actually is for, for many. And Traditionally, we didn't really deal with those emotions. We sort of put them to the side and expected people to make really important decisions about their future and, and tried to get them to come to an agreement with the person who they perceived to be the one causing them that pain and anger. When you think about it, it seems quite illogical that we expected people to be able to do that. Um, and certainly, while the collaborative process is not appropriate for every case, for those that can work through the, their their separation in that way, it makes a huge difference, in my opinion. Uh, it's not that we we don't ignore the emotional side of things. We have trained professionals, counsellors who can be brought in um, to support the couple and help them deal with issues that are really causing a lot of pain and anger so that they don't sit there and fester away only to rear their heads later in the future. It also means that by tackling some of those emotional issues, it can make it easier for the couple to then move forward in the process and make those important decisions that we're expecting them to make. So yes, just a short, um, a short note just to sort of raise awareness of the collaborative process and yes I wonder if Brad and Angelina if they had their time again might they have chosen that as a better way to divorce who knows